Welcome back, guys, to another episode on the Poxcotch server. Today, we are back at the villa. We are going to do some work here. I don't know how much we're going to get done on the inside there. I, we needed to do a couple of uh, different little projects around here in order to make this work. So, I've started working on just putting in a little reed farm right here. It's, uh, I know, for all you redstone people, this is not the way it's done. It's not efficient, blah, 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 blah. This is done for me. It took three minutes to put in, and now it's complete. Look at this. So many reads. It, it, what we need these for is for the, the books in the library. We're also going to need to potentially put in some cows. I know we got a bunch of leather back at the uh, favela. So I don't know if we'll need to do anything with that for the actual leather, but I think that's going to do it for reads. That's all we're going to need. I've made this little building here just so that it wasn't just a bunch of reeds. Because I mean, eventually I'd like to have a little bit of a town in this little area. Like a little bit of something anyway. And uh, so these guys can be reed farmers. I built this little house on the bottom level. It's going to be uh, for the reed farmer. It's a little like work area. We've got... Uh, oh, right. Okay. Oh, we need to put water in there too. Uh, just a little sink for them. Um, we've also got in there uh, some furnaces for doing his cooking, who knows what. Um, and then I've used these pistons as just uh, like counter space. I think they look really nice. They're really different from what I've seen for counters. The only bad part is you can't place anything on top of it. Uh, like if we go upstairs, like these guys here, we cannot place this. F oh, we cannot place the, the flower pot on top of it which we can't do anything with it which is too bad so that's gonna have to be like that we got a little bed for him up here um, we've also got uh, just a little workbench and then we got some chests with some reeds those are what the reeds I, I started with in this area we've also got upstairs uh, a little balcony I don't know if this is gonna be enough fences just a little balcony for the guy to look out upon the area you can look at his reeds in the morning to see how they've they've grown overnight um but yeah just a, a quick simple little house I'm, it's nothing too special or fancy but it will get the trick done i did want to see because i think this is pretty well complete for its growth so i wanted to see how many reeds we got out of this um because like bookshelves they take a lot of reeds a lot of reeds and I think they take a, a fair not as much but a fair amount of leather as well so hopefully hopefully this will do us well I think it will I I put in these reeds first and then I built uh, the little house here so however long it took for me to build that house it uh, took for these reeds to grow and I've been heading back over to the favela, or not the favela, yeah, the favela, because I've been missing a couple of things. I had to run back and grab that cauldron. Um, so it's taken a little bit of time. It's not all been work progress. But that's not bad. Almost four stacks. That's pretty good. I can live with that. I think we're going to be able to make a, a bunch of books with all these reads now. We've been running low. When we first started on here... Sean C and I, we were really good at uh, working the farms and making sure we had all the stuff. And we've been slowly dwindling and dwindling it away. Well, I guess I've been dwindling it much, much more. Oh, right, we got more reeds over here. I've been dwindling it a lot more because I'm, I'm playing a lot more. Uh, but we had almost run out of reeds. I know there was a bunch of books made to go to the Blaze Farm. Just because... Well, if you're, doing, if you're doing lots of enchanting, you need lots of books. So we went through a just a ton of reeds. Let's grab these ones as well here. Um, so I needed to get reeds going again so we can make a bunch of bookshelves for the library. Because I, I would love to get that done. It, uh, I didn't think it was going to take as long, but I think it will just because the bookshelves. It takes so it for so long to make. But that's okay. When it's done, it'll look really, really nice, and we'll be happy with it. Um, let's grab some more slabs, I want to say. Just some stone slabs. I guess we got them over here, don't we? Yes, we do. In the front of this building, because, like, 
in this whole area, like, there's going to be lots and lots of, like, plants, and, like, this is all going to be, like, a garden area right out front here, and up top there's garden areas. So I want there to be lots of garden stuff around here, like, lots of potted plants and, and such. Um, so we're going to work on the front of this building a little bit, just to make it pop a little more, because as it stands right now, it's pretty ugly. Like, it works. Like, it's a little building, but it's really ugly. <laughs> I think, anyway. So, we need to fix that up just a little bit. Uh, we do need to bring this hill back just a wee tad. Just because it's looking a little funny coming around the side here. We can leave it like this. I think that'll be fine. Let's bring that back a bit. Make it look a little more natural. I'm sure we'll be adjusting all this. Like, this pond's going to have to go. We're going to have buildings in here. But that's okay. Um, so let's, I like, like if I'm putting in a little garden area, I like to have it sort of separated a little bit like this, uh, with just something a little bit raised. We'll do the same when we work on the big garden back, uh, over near, like in the front of the, the villa there. Um, but this right here, now this creates separation and it's going to give you something extra to look at. But let's also, we want to do some plants on the side. I know we're not doing any uh, hidden lighting with it right now, and that's okay. Uh, but let's just do a little something like that. That should work. That should create something a little interesting. Uh, let's bring this up just like so. That should look okay, I think. Uh, oh, did we fall in? We sure did. Let's add a little bit on this side. Let's build this up. This is going to have to be built up anyway. And that's just so that we can make the <laughs> these little leaves, whoops, these leaves look a little more natural on what they're doing coming in to the building. There we go. And let's put one right there, maybe. Why not? Very good. Um... This side, this side desperately needs it. Really bad. It, it's so plain right here, so we have to put them in. That should work. And then let's put just a little something right here, maybe. That'll do. I think that'll work nice. Maybe. Oh, we need to do the ceiling up top still, too. We're going to do it like over there with like the corrosion the corrosion roof. I guess we can do that right now. Let's grab some blocks. This will do. Oh, we can actually just put those away. Very good. Here we go. Okay, so these are away. Let's head up to the top here. We got some dirt. We don't need those. Okay. So, what we're going to do, how I've been doing this, I've been sort of picking one side to build up, and I think this back side is going to be the one that gets built up higher. There we go. Uh, let's put a little stair there. Let's grab that guy. So, yeah, I want to create some height and some difference, um, which I guess can be difficult, because you don't want to go too crazy. Let's try this. We'll just see if this works anyway. I'm not really sure if it will. Um, but we want that to sort of be the high point. This to be the, the lowest point. Well, maybe that can be a low. This whole side, maybe the back side is up. This side's low. Maybe that's what we do. Let's put this one here. Okay, there. And we just build up. Build on up. Okay, so this... I don't want it to be as high, so let's just place it like that. Place a block there, and down we go. Throw in some filler. Oh, that's, that's not going to work, I don't think. Let's give this a try. I don't know, I just, I want to keep that good flow going, you know? Um, we'll have a look when we get back down. It's it's tough to see right now, but 
I bet this looks okay. Uh, let's just drop. Let's just do it. Okay. What do we got? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It looks okay, I guess. It's not as good as I would have hoped. But I think I can leave that. It's interesting, isn't it? Like, it looks kind of cool. I don't like that block there. We're going to change that to just a, a half slab. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's the one that's throwing me off. Uh-huh. Let's jump. Oh, that's not good. It's right here. There we go. Just a little guy. Oh, that might work. Okay, let's have a look. Let's get down. Let's get rid of these so we can't see it. Let's have a look at this. I bet you this looks a little bit nicer. What do we get? Yeah. That's nicer, all right. That's much nicer. I like that. Okay, so we're going to keep it like that. I think that looks cool and nice. Um, but yeah, so this is our, our little building for the reeds. So I think what I'm going to do, I think we're going to take a little break here. I'm going to finish up just a little bit more on it. And uh, then hopefully maybe we'll start placing some, some bookcases. We'll see. Uh, but we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so uh, we've done a little bit of work. I guess let's go and check out the finished little product over at our little mini reed farm. Been growing up so, uh, spruce trees here because we need a lot of wood. Oh, nice. Those two little leaves that were always stuck up there have despawned. That's nice. But we need a lot of wood to make all of the bookshelves. So I've been growing those. And here's our little finished product. Oh, let's get rid of this little dirt pillar. I had to go up on top. I put in those bushes up on top there uh, after we uh, finished up in the earlier part there. Uh, oh, this is growing in nice. Thank goodness. But this is our little finished product for our good little farmer guy's house. Um, I do like that little red red flower right up at the very top there. It's nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's just pillar up just a teensy little bit here so we can get a nice, nice view of this place. There we go. That's going to be our snapshot. Very, very nice. I like the way this turned out. It was a quick little project, um, something fun to do, and then we got all of these reeds. I did also bring over uh, Ryu. He came on over with me. I was like, why not? Let's bring him on over. He's been at the farm forever. Let's take him out on a little trek, um, and he's looking good. Now, I made a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of bookshelves. We are currently out of reeds. So we do need to harvest these guys again once it's fully mature. But let's head on over to the library. I did just a little bit of work there. We were able to get a full stack uh, of bookshelves. So that was nine stacks of sugar cane and three stacks of leather. It's not cheap to make bookshelves. Holy smoke. I thought I was going to get a whole bunch more done in here before we called her for the day, but I didn't get that much done. So here's what it's looking like so far. We've got spruce floors. I've put in a little area so that we can enchant here as well. Uh, we've got some bookshelves. Oh, I need to fill in the back part here as well. Um, we have them going all the way up to the ceiling here. We got some pillars. I've also placed in this little staircase here. We are also going to put in some item frames on the sides for a little banister. Um, what else we got? These little bookshelves, I this is where I ran out. This is what you're looking at is 64 bookshelves. Wow, do they go up quick. Uh, so we're going to fill all this in here, fill up this wall all the way up somehow. Maybe we'll go all the way up there. I'm not quite sure. Um, but we got this upstairs area. We're going to have bookshelves all the way up over here and along this wall. And I think it will look really nice once it's all complete. Let's just fill in this little railing here. Very nice. We'll have a walkway and we can have bookshelves. We do need the wood right here because it actually shows to the enchanting area down below. Right up on the top there. So that has to be there. Um, 
But yeah, this is looking nice. I don't know, do these work? No, that looks weird. Let's get rid of that. That will not work. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the little library here for today because we don't have enough materials to do anything else. But it's looking good. I didn't think I was going to make it to this today. I thought the little project over with the reeds was going to be it. But for whatever reason, I got extra stuff done. It was awesome. Um, so we do need to put in a little enchanting table. That we'll put in some light as well underneath of it. A piece of glowstone. But we don't have the materials for that here either. Um, there's still lots to do here. Lots and lots to do. Uh, there's a little bedroom. Uh, we haven't been here for a long, 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 long time. But it's been like eight episodes or something like that, which is crazy. I didn't think it was that long. I thought that we were here not too long ago, which is crazy how time flies when you're working on other things. Um, but have a look at this. This is the nice view again. Look at our friend Sean, Chauncey. He went and uh, pumpkin jack o' lanterned our place. What a guy. Is so kind and nice of him. I, I really needed those. Not. Nah. What is he putting these up here for? We, uh, I was on, well, while I was playing today, uh, he was on, he didn't really have much to do. It's, uh, it's Valentine's Day today. So, he was just killing some time before him and his lady went off and did some things. And so he decided to come and troll, troll around, do some bad stuff on here, the jerk. That's okay. Um, Oh, we got these to work on, too. I'm excited to work on these upstairs uh, little garden areas. I think they'll end up looking really, really cool. A little bit different, something I haven't done before. A second level garden. And it's going to be on both sides, which is pretty cool. All right, we got the sea lantern up here. I forgot about that. It's been a long time since I've been back here at the, the villa doing some work. Um, so it's nice to be back here. I want to get this project done. We gotta work in the living room area there. We gotta work in our bedroom up top. There's lots to do here. <laughs> There's so much to do, but it's gonna look very nice in the end. Um, but I think today, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, didn't get too, too much done here. It's been a busy week and a half or so. Um, there's just been lots of stuff going on, hanging out with lots of friends, and haven't been able to make it on nearly as much as I would have liked. But that's okay. We Oh. Let's take care of this guy. But yeah, it's been busy. It's been a, a really good time the, these past couple weeks. And I just haven't found the time to, to make it on here and, and have some fun. Although I was on the other night and who, who was on? I think it was Raving Lunatic and uh, Red. Red Jern? Jern? Red. We were with Red. We went and checked out his place. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to capture anything. The environment here was a little bit too noisy, but we had a, a lot of fun. Uh, it was really, really cool. One of the coolest things, I don't think it'll work here, but let's... No, it's not. Let's head over to the lake there. We were... He's building... Red is building some sort of, like, underground like greenhouse type of thing. I don't think it's going to be a greenhouse or anything like that, but uh, it's like an underground uh, with glass around it. So I'm not sure if that's going to be like a cool bedroom or whatnot. Uh, but anyway, we're down there. And Shauncey, he was down. He was trying to shoot us. And if you shoot an arrow straight up, we get to come down. Isn't that cool? Uh, we're not nearly deep enough. Let's just do a little throw. Like, look at that. Ooh, it looks cool. Um, I had no idea that it did that. The shoot went up high. Oh! Okay, yeah, if you stand right underneath of it, you will get hit. It's not like when you're out in the open and you fire them. They sort of go off all crazy places. It will hit you. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We got our little Reed Farmer guy. He's got, uh, he's got quite the stock going on. So, but thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.